Knowing the Future Incorporated presents an excerpt from Dark Monolith, The Heroes of Ravenford, Book Three by F. P. Spirit, narrated by Alexander P. Wender. Donatello watched with trepidation as Alana and Ruka lined up for battle. The two women warriors stood on a wide patch of rock, one islet over from where the golem plodded through the lava. Donnie's eyes shifted from the duo to the golem itself, his jaw dropping as he got a true perspective of the creature's size. That thing is huge! Donnie had to bite his tongue to stop from crying out. The iron creature towered over the duo, even being knee-deep as it was in the molten lava. Luckily, the golem continued to ignore them. Donnie crouched a short distance away, near the base of the cliff, surveying the surrounding area. He was supposed to wait until the two women warriors distracted the creature, then get to the switch behind it without being seen. Thankfully, this side of the pit was dotted with numerous rocky outcroppings and islets. Still, he wanted to find the quickest path to the isle with the lever on it. As soon as both he and Seth were in position, they could pull the levers and be done with it. The plan was not at all at Donnie's liking. He was too afraid that someone would get hurt. It should be me out there. Donnie might not be able to hurt the golem, but it would have little chance of hitting him either. He had no choice, though. He and Seth were the only ones who could reach the switches undetected. Donnie chided himself. Alana is a seasoned warrior, and Ruka has proven time and again that she could handle herself. Still, he could not get the knot out of his stomach. If anything were to happen to either of them, he would never forgive himself. Well then, you just need to reach that switch as fast as possible. Donnie peered across the pit and saw Lloyd and Seth were in position. There was a sudden shimmering in the air next to the red-clad warrior, and then a listrous construct appeared. The creature immediately charged the golem in front of them. Go! Lloyd shouted from across the pit. Donnie shifted his focus back to Alana and Ruka. The duo separated, Alana's shield up, her sword springing to life with a brilliant white glow. Ruka had her short sword out and pointed it at the golem. Crack! Thunder rolled as a bolt of lightning jumped from her sword and caught the iron creature square in the chest. The golem immediately slowed down, arcs of electricity skirting across its torso. Alana charged into the lava, the molten liquid nearly up to her waist. She came within striking distance of the golem, then slashed at its knee viciously with her glowing sword. Once, twice, three times in quick succession. The golem slowly turned to face its attacker, but the Lady Knight had already backpedaled out of the lava and onto the islet where Ruka still stood. Donny nodded approvingly. Very clever. They were attempting to draw the golem out of the lava and onto dry ground. That way, it couldn't heal itself with the hot liquid. Crack! Thunder rolled once more across the cavern, this time from the other side of the pit. Donnie chanced a quick glance in that direction and saw a purple-robed figure hovering high in the air while the red-clad form of Lloyd rushed forward into battle. Come on, big guy! Ruka's voice drew his attention back to the clash in front of him. Alana waved the golem on. Yes, this way. The creature ponderously marched through the lava and out onto the rocky outcropping. The two female warriors backed away, drawing the iron giant toward the center of the aisle. The creature's back was almost to him now. This is my chance, Donnie realized. He spurred himself forward, moving across the rocky ledge as far as he could go without stepping into lava, all the while without taking his eye off the battle in front of him. 
The golem had swung at Alana, but the skilled warrior ducked under the creature's blow. Meanwhile, Ruka had run in and slashed across the golem's legs, another charge leaping from her blade. Crack! Thunder rolled yet again. Arcs of electricity danced across the golem's torso, causing it to slow down once more. Alana took advantage of the moment and rushed in, landing three more blows in quick succession on the creature's knee. She was so skilled with her weapon that every blow landed in precisely the same spot. Even from here, Donnie could see the gash opening in the golem's thick leg. A few more blows and she just might sever it completely. Donnie looked away for a moment as he leapt across the lava to another outcropping. He deftly landed on solid ground, then turned his attention back to the battle. The electric arcs around the golem had dissipated, the huge creature already turning after its foe. Suddenly a large limb lashed out, and a cannonball-sized fist hurtled directly toward Alana, giving her little time to react. At the very last second, the Lady Knight sidestepped and raised her shield arm defensively. BAM! The sound of metal on metal resounded across the lava pit. The force of the glancing blow was so great that it backlashed on Alana. Oof! The air was forced out of the Lady Knight as her entire body rebounded from the collision, pushing her back a few steps. Donnie froze in his tracks and nearly called out her name. He had to clamp both hands over his mouth to stop from screaming as he watched Alana struggle to maintain her balance. She finally managed to retain her footing, but the golem had followed her. As the creature recoiled for another blow, a cry rang out from the cliff above. Alana, look out! The switch be damned, Donnie swore silently. As he launched himself toward the Lady Knight, something flew through the air toward the golem's back. It was Ruka. Oh, no, you don't. The girl warrior screamed. She hefted her short sword high above her head, its blade crackling with electricity. Before the golem could unleash its blow, Ruka slammed into it, her weapon digging deep into the creature's back. Sparks flew as an aurora of electricity encircled the golem's large frame. The creature stopped in its tracks, seemingly frozen in place as the loud hum of electrical current filled the pit around them. Donnie had pulled up short and watched in awe as Ruka continued her electrical assault. Her feet planted firmly on the golem's broad back. She held on to the embedded blade and fired bolt after bolt of electricity into its innards. Once, twice, three times, and more. So many times that Donnie lost count. Steam rose from the space in the golem's visor, and then from its joints. Still, Ruka continued her unrelenting assault. Finally, the young warrior stopped, heaving heavily on her short blade and wrenching it from the golem's back. Ruka crouched, then pushed off the golem's back, flying backwards in a long arc, then somersaulting in midair and landing on her feet a few yards away. In the meantime, Alana was not idle. She launched herself at the still-frozen golem with a loud cry over her shoulder. Move, Donnie! Donnie, still astonished, forced his feet into motion once more. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed the excerpt of Dark Monolith, The Heroes of Ravenford, Book 3.